This is a quick review of the Small Rig 3526 cold shoe adapter with windshield for the Sony ZV-1 and Sony ZV-E10. I currently only have the ZV-1 so that's all I can test it on but it should be identical in both cameras. I couldn't find any other reviews on this Small Rig 3526 as it is a new product so I figured I'd do a product review just in case anyone else was interested in it. This is my full unbiased review of the product. I was not contacted by Small Rig to do the review. Here's the box that it comes in. You can see it's actually a really small box. And obviously the windshield is obviously very small as well, just like the Sony one, just maybe a hair more just to accommodate the cold shoe. The reason I got this as well as the ZV-1 is to actually travel light and not carry a bunch of additional weight and equipment. I do have other ways to attach additional cold shoes, like the UU Rig adapter bracket, which has a cold shoe and an additional handle. Sometimes I don't actually want to carry that additional weight. Here's an unboxing of the Small Rig 3526. There's really not much to it, just a slide out box. And then rip that off. And then inside of the uh, plastic baggie, which I guess I could use when I travel if I don't need it. Although I usually just leave it on the ZV-1. You get the, get rid of that stuff. You get the small rig 3526. So a little bigger than the Sony, but maybe one millimeter. And um, there's the cold shoe. The Sony would only be up to here. So it has this little additional height to it as well. And the Sony mount ends right, or the Sony one that comes with it ends right here. So it has this little additional stick out, but it doesn't affect the camera negatively in any way. So, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, maybe it's too close. So that's pretty much it. Not much to it, so just the box. And it's in a uh, Ziploc bag. So this is the included Sony one that I've been using for about a year now. No problem with it at all. It just doesn't have the cold shoe mount. So I give up that actual mount on the top of the camera and need additional way to attach a light. Here's a small rig version. It's actually white and black. Um, I think it varies on what you get. You can order white, you can order black, but the black is white and black, which is perfectly fine. Here you can actually see the cold shoe right there. So what will happen is you can actually mount an additional light or other accessory right in the mount. And then this fits in just like the regular Sony windshield adapter that came with the ZV-1. Here are the two windshields side by side. The Sony is on the left. The small rig is on the right. They're basically the same size, maybe one millimeter longer on the small rig to accommodate the cold shoe. And the cold shoe adapter built into the small rig probably sticks up about maybe one millimeter more than the Sony. But on the camera, it means actually really nothing because you usually put a light or something else into that cold shoe. So it doesn't impact the performance of the camera in any way. This small rig adapter with the actual windshield costs eleven thirty nine dollars at Adorama. Um, b &H is going to get it as well, and Amazon has it too for about the same price. If you just want, you can get the windshield, which is $5.90 if you ever just lose that part. But the adapter is the true part that actually adds the additional cold shoe. So here's an outdoor test. It's about 12 mile an hour winds. This is with zero wind muff, not the Sony or the small rig one, just as a comparison test for if you put nothing and just the light on, for how much wind you would actually hear if you had no wind muff on the ZV-1. So this is a Sony ZV-1 with the included windshield. As the wind picks up, we'll get a test here. That's about 12 mile an hour winds according to the phone right now. So hopefully you don't hear anything wind wise where the previous test was with no windshield on. That's how you do front facing and POV. Just so you get two different wind directions. So here's with the small rig adapter with the cold shoe. This is a comparison to the Sony one, just so you can see how much it 
It works just as good as a Sony one, but you get the hot shoe adapter built in, which is a benefit of it. So based on the sound meters, it looks pretty good, so. So that concludes the outdoor test. The Sony ZV-1, I'm just leaving on the small rig adapter. Now the wind actually picked up even more. So hopefully it's still very quiet. I do have the light on even though it's dusk. It helps light the face. So it's just a good outdoor test because this is how a real world example would be. I have the Sony ZV-1, the small rig adapter with cold shoe, and then the flash mounted into the cold shoe. Just because that would be my dusk and nighttime configuration if I go out and shoot. So my review of this is actually, it's a really great product, especially for under $12 USD. It actually gives you the ability to keep the light up in front of the camera, which I'll insert a picture here, taken just with the iPhone, um, so that actually the windshield can still be attached to the camera and I can still have a light source or other accessory on top of it without having to have any additional mounts or cages on the actual product. So my final review of the small rig 3526 is definitely it's a great item because you get the additional functionality of a second cold shoe while still having the on-camera windshield in place if you're using the onboard mics and really want to travel light and vlog light. This adds basically no weight to the setup to gain the additional cold shoe. There's no additional metal rig or handle that needs to go on for an additional cold shoe either. So this is a great option to utilize just above where the cold shoe currently is. It just stacks on top, slides in just like the Sony ZV-1 windshield, and then you can just mount whatever you want on the cold shoe that's built into the windshield adapter. I'll post a link with all the items that I used in this test, including the ZV-1 with the standard windshield that came with the camera, the small rig 3526 windshield with cold shoe adapter, which is what this review was based on, as well as the lighting solution that I used, which was the LumaCube MIDI panel. For this test, I only have the Sony ZV-1, but this will obviously work with the Sony ZV-10 as well. I do not have access to a Sony ZV-10, so I could only do the test on the Sony ZV-1, but the results should be identical for both products. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully the review was helpful. 